Have you been struggling to find the right fonts for your web design projects? I know, I understand completely. Stuck in a box, using the same fonts on every website that you create, using garbage fonts that don't make any sense. Choosing the right fonts can be tricky, but so, so important. Typography is a skill and we, as web developers and designers, need to learn to develop. According to this guy here, Albert Mehabian's rule of personal communication, 93% of the personal connection is non-verbal, meaning ideas and values need to co be communicated in the simplest way possible. So what do fonts and typography have to do with that? They evoke visual and emotional reactions. Okay, let me demonstrate. Imagine you need to write the title or the text for a buy now button. Here's three examples of fonts and be aware of your emotions when you're reading the text. So what emotions did you feel? Which button made you click buy now? Okay, enough with the smart talk. Now let's go through the tools that will help you choose the right fonts for your next projects. Okay guys, so this is my favorite hands down generating font pairing tool. <laughs> I freaking love it it's so simple and beautiful at the same time so that goes to show how simplicity and minimalism can actually convey a better message and the message is that this is all you need <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about okay so you have the option basically to turn on the light mode if you want which is not bad actually it's really nice but i'm a web developer so i prefer a dark theme so I will turn it off and as you can see we already have three fonts generated these are their pre-generated fonts as you load the page so let's say we want to generate a new font instead of Hinman Rai, the third font we want to generate a new one so what we would do is lock Laura and Montserrat and leave Madurai unlocked and now we can just generate a new font okay let's try a new one I like it. This is a little bit not bad, but okay. I like this one. Muli. It's very nice, right? I think it's very useful because it's so simple. It just keeps your focus on the page and you know, you just know what fonts go with what. I think if you use your common sense as a web designer and especially if you have some experience with typography, you know what goes with what, hands down. All right, let's move on to our second tool, which is called MixFont. And MixFont is, as they say, fun and simple way to discover and visualize new fonts. All right, let's generate new fonts. You have the names of the fonts here. Let's, oh, we can lock them as well. Let's, I want to lock Mr. Dafoe and unlock this one the second one and let's regenerate this is looking a little bit better even better i love this one this is really gold so basically they do work in the same way more or less uh, you can also save them obviously you have to sign in and or login but how amazing are these tools right you only need to focus on what is on the on the page and think how these fonts would work with your project would they help your project what message do they convey it does help a little bit right all right let's move on to the third one third one also has a figma plugin i'll talk about that a little bit after i present this so it's called font pair if you want to see pairings you just go to pairings obviously and scroll down there's no way to actually generate font here but the plugin does that in figma and you can just look and make informed decision of what fonts do you want i like this too pair together i also like this too this is one of my favorite fonts yeah again here it's such a nice and playful font also this one i love it combination is really nice and yeah and if you want to add your own text to see how this would look in your context you can just go here click on this and as you can see this is editable let's say hello <laughs> how cool right let's say hello world party time Okay, now let's try their Figma plugin. In my opinion, it's a little bit buggy, but, and I will tell you why. 
but it's still usable. So go to download plugin, try it out and you can hit run here. You can also find it in the resources. You can just hit resources and find font pair there or search for it in through your plugins if you have more than one. <laughs> All right, so we have plugin open here. You can generate a new pairing. You can change the text color as well as the background color. And let's use this, this pairing. All right, and now let me explain to you why this plugin is a bit buggy. What do you see? What is the difference between this? As you can see, I see that this two fonts are a bit more bold than what has been generated for us. So it's not completely accurate in that sense, but it's still, I think, usable, in my opinion. So let's generate a new pairing. Let's use it. As you can see, same issue. Let's do another one. Let's generate a new one. So that's that's the problem with this, uh, but I think it's still usable and I still recommend it. You can find a use for it. Just keep in mind that the fonts that you see generated in the preview in the plugin are not as bold as the ones that actually are generated in the frame, if that makes any sense. But they are the same fonts that you see in the preview. <laughs> I know it's super confusing. Just try it out and let me know what you think. And tell me also if you have found a better uh, font pairing plugin generator. <laughs> Honestly, these tools should be able to help you find find font pairings that can uh, convey the message that you you want your project to convey. Let me know in the comments below if you struggle choosing fonts for your project. And if you want to see what other Figma plugins I recommend, watch this video here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.